Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video and the first video that I am filming in my new studio apartment which is very exciting hopefully the audio is working hopefully you like the setup um, if you haven't already make sure you go check out my little moving vlog that I created when I moved in a couple months ago three months ago and if you are new to our channel make sure you subscribe um, my name is Ellen and I make fashion and beauty videos with my sister on this channel she lives in Australia and I live in New Zealand and we have some fun times. <laughs> but today's video is actually all about my new handbag, which I actually bought four months ago, but I really wanted to test it out and make sure I knew what I was talking about and could do like a really thorough review on this channel because it is quite an expensive bag. Let me show you. Ta-da! It is this beautiful Saint Laurent or YSL tote bag. So this video is gonna be made up of five different parts or sections. Um, first thing, I'm gonna talk about the price, where I bought it, where you can buy it and then I'm going to talk about the design elements and just features of the bag and then I'm going to talk about why I chose this one in particular because often it's compared to a lot of other designer totes and this is the one that I went for and then I'm going to show you what is inside my handbag and everything I keep in there and then for the final part I'm just going to like give you a general overview of what I think if it's worth money and yeah let's get into it so I actually purchased my tote bag secondhand because full price these retail for 1000 and 90 US dollars which I think at the time I bought that that converted to 1,700 New Zealand dollars now it's like I think dropped to 1,600 New Zealand dollars but still a lot of money so I decided to purchase mine secondhand which is how I ended up with this color because when you purchase secondhand you kind of just go for what's available and I actually really like this color it goes with a lot of my outfits and my things so I'm not gonna say exactly how much I paid for it because some people will probably like judge me and be like that's way too much money to spend on a handbag but I did end up saving like almost like half of or over half yeah over half of um, the full retail price especially if I bought it in New Zealand I would have had to pay a lot of shipping taxes to get it through customs um, so in my eyes it was a very good deal <laughs> in terms of the bag design it's very very simple it's a very lightweight thin leather with a little bit of texture on it it's not super soft but I have got a few scratches on the back so it's not as hard as like compared to my Michael Kors bag which are the Safiana leather, Safiana, Safiano, you know what I'm talking about. As for the inside, it doesn't actually have any lining, it's kind of hard to show you, um, but it's just the raw exposed leather which some people have some issues with scratching. I actually haven't had, had it, well have found it too bad um, in the time that I've owned it. And then there's no kind of internal side pockets of the bag. It just comes with like a little, oh, I hit myself in the face. It just comes with a little pouch, um, which is kind of handy. It has a little dome closure to bring it together. So it doesn't have a zip, which might be a bit um, insecure for people if you live in a really busy city and people might be like sticking their hands in. But I find it fine when I, where I live. And then across the top there, it just has the Saint Laurent logo. And it also has a little keychain thing. If I just pop that out, it's got a little YSL logo thing, which I usually um, have covered up, which segues very nicely into my next section about why I bought this bag in particular. All of the like YSL designer kind of elements on this bag are really, really simple, and you probably wouldn't notice if I walked past you down the street, you wouldn't think that this is a very expensive handbag, which I quite liked because if you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll know that last year I bought a Louis Vuitton Speedy, and that is obviously a very iconic print, and you get a lot of people commenting on it, <laughs> which like, I guess, you know, it's nice. People are like, oh, lovely handbag, but then you also get the comments like, oh, how much did that cost you? Were you buying it for a special occasion? Why'd you buy it? Why do you spend that much money on handbags? And I really don't like that kind of attention and people judging me. So this one um, is a lot more subtle, which is why I chose it over the Louis Vuitton Neverfull tote. Um, which is very similar in size and there's a lot of comparison videos on YouTube which I re recommend watching which is exactly what I did when I was researching. Another reason why I chose this handbag was the fact that it's just a very thin leather as I said which makes it really lightweight so I can fill it with lots and lots of stuff and it doesn't get too heavy. Uh, which is a really nice feature. Initially when I purchased this bag I thought it would be really good for traveling and like going down to the South Island and going over to Melbourne to visit Tara and so far I've used it on the plane once and I will never use it again because it got 
so I scratched up and the person in security and the customs officer just like squished my bag into the plastic bin and it came out all scratched which is kind of annoying um, because one of the things I was really excited about with this bag was I thought it would be kind of a little more hard wearing than it is um, but I don't know if you can see on the back it does have quite a lot of um, creases in it because unfortunately buying it second hand um, the person hadn't used it a lot but they had been storing it and they hadn't stuffed it very well so there are some deep sort of creases on the back and now a couple of scratches which are kind of my fault but I still think it's a lot better wearing than something like a lambskin leather so I'm still really happy with it. So now I'm going to show you all of the goodies that I carry around in my handbag. I tend to switch your handbags like at least twice a week um, so my handbag isn't full of like junk like a lot of people do on, in their handbag videos on YouTube but I wanted to show you three things that aren't always in my handbag but do fit in my handbag and I might have them in there for like one day of the week. Um, you know, this will make sense when I show you what these items are. So I don't wear makeup to work every day, but um, occasionally I do if I have a nice event, so I like to bring my makeup bag with me. This is another secondhand purchase. It's a beautiful coach leather bag, and if you want to know what I carry around inside it, Tara and I have done a video about what's in our makeup bag, so I will link that down below. And it fits really well in there, even though I've got heaps of other stuff. I just pop it in the top. The other item that I kind of like swap out and occasionally have in my bag is my little lunch bag. This is actually a Kate Spade one. It's a little bit dirty at the moment. Um, I bought this off ASOS. It's great quality. It fits a lot in there. Um, keeps everything nice and cool. And I take packed lunches to work quite a lot, so that's very handy. One of the other reasons I wanted this bag, um, which I didn't mention, was that I wanted to be able to fit things like my umbrella and my laptop in it because my Michael Kors tote bag is a little bit smaller and it's just hard to fit bigger items like this. Um, so it was something that was really missing from my collection. And the laptop fits in here very nicely. So my bag is like full of stuff so I've just slotted it in the top there. And it does make it quite heavy but it fits really easily. This is the MacBook 13 inch Air I think. Ta -da! I also have a plastic um, glittery case on it which makes it a little bit heavier um, but it protects it nicely. So those are things that I don't have in my handbag every day but I just wanted to show you that all those things fit in this bag and it's super roomy. As for the things that I have been carrying around in this handbag for the past few days for like work and everything, first thing is my blunt umbrella because it rains all the time in Auckland unfortunately and I really hate having to carry this around but it's better than being caught in the rain. Oh, this is quite cute. This is a little pen case from Ted Baker. The actual matching pen that I had got stolen from my office, so I don't have that anymore. But I do have a cute little Kiki K pen in there. And as a journalist, it's always good to have a pen on me and when I'm like traveling. And this means when it's in the case, I don't have to worry about the ink linky, le linking, le le leaking, leaking in my handbag. <laughs> oh, I also have a little shopping bag in here. So it comes in this little case and then it extends out into this giant shopping bag, which is very handy um, if I want to pick up some groceries on my way home and it doesn't take up too much space. I also have my little swipe card for work in there. Actually, that's something that I like to keep in this little pouch just because it always gets lost in this bag. Like it's so giant, you really do lose things. I also always have my headphones with me because I use them a lot at work if I'm listening to interviews or just listening to music. If you've watched any of my previous What's In My Handbag videos you will recognize these because I have had them for years. They are the Friends headphones and I won't do a close up because some of the leather is peeling and they look a bit gross. Should probably eventually get a new pair but you know they haven't broken yet. It's already like quite empty. The next thing I have are my sun, no, my glasses, not my sunglasses. Um, I got reading glasses last year. I have a little vlog if you're interested in watching that. And these ones I actually got um, when I went on a press trip for work to LA to interview Will I Am. So this is from his Specsavers Will I Am collaboration. And they're really cool. I like these. I might just keep them on for the rest of the video. Then I have my actual sunglasses. I have two pairs that I alternate between. Um, this is the pair I've been wearing this week. Um, because I didn't take them to Italy when I was, I was in Italy for like a month and then I really missed them so I've been wearing them a lot since I got home. Um, they have these really cool Mew Mew frames. A little bit funky. I'll put them on to show you. Ta-da! I really like these. I also have this little um, person here which I am photographing. I'm doing some little um, social media posts for this brand called Verdun. 
and it's really cool it's um, vegan so it's not real leather but it's like beautiful quality and it's got all my cards in there and it's got a little clip to put your keys on this isn't sponsored I'm just like literally doing this as a favor so they can have some cool photos for the Instagram it's not even going on my Instagram <laughs> I also just realized my phone was sitting here and it was meant to be in my handbag. Um, that's another thing that I will sometimes put into this little pouch. I find that really handy. Um, it fits perfectly in there. And then I don't have to worry about my keys um, scratching it or anything else scratching it, the zippers. Um, it's nice and safe in there. Which just made it reminded me I don't have my keys in my handbag. They're hanging on my door handle, but let's just imagine they were in here. My phone is the Samsung S. Nine. I absolutely love Samsung phones. If you watched any of my previous videos, you will know that. Um, and the case I have on the moment uh, actually got sent to this. It's really pretty. It's like a pink marble. Um, I think I might change it though. This wasn't, I got three cases and I just put this one on yesterday when I was photographing the purses because it went with the pink purse. Okay, this is the my favorite one that I've had on for ages. It's like this really cool blue marble. And it's kind of got some like almost gold tones in there and I think it looks really cute um you can kind of see my phone is actually purple underneath the case so I think it looks really cute with the purple I've actually been testing out this phone case for maybe like three months now I wanted to give it a good um trial before recommending it in my video and it's protected my phone really well actually um it does have little exposed bits on the side for your buttons so that is kind of like a risk that they can get scratched but my phone's still in pretty good nick um, so I'll link these phone cases down below if you're interested in getting some. Again, not sponsored, but I did get sent this. And then I think there should only be one more thing in here, which is my wallet. I've had this wallet for maybe three or four years. Um, it's a Kate Spade one and it did actually used to say Kate Spade on there, but it's rubbed off. Um, I really like the size though fits everything I need in there and fits into lots of my smaller handbags as well as my bigger handbags. So that is everything that was in my handbag. Overall, I'm still really, really happy that I purchased this bag. I absolutely love it. It fits over my arm super nice and I just feel so chic and stylish when I'm carrying it around. I wear it into the office and there's like another girl in my office that has the black one, which is just as beautiful if you're interested in purchasing that one. I'll also link it down below so you can have a look at the other colors. Um, but yeah, I really like it. It's really simple and elegant. Uh, it can fit so much stuff in it. I haven't had a problem with it scratching on the inside. I can show you the inside now that it's empty. Um, but I know quite a lot of people have. It's one of the um, critiques about this bag. But I really like it. It's lightweight. It fits so much stuff in it. My only criticism was that the leather is a bit like floppy and it does have, you can see that crease um, down the back there and it has scratched a wee bit even just in the last like two weeks um i've had like three scratches pop up on it i think i'm just very used to my michael kors bag which is super sturdy and i've had it for like four and a half five years and it's just like it's still in perfect condition so that's been a little tough to take with this handbag but i'm still really happy i got it and i would definitely recommend hunting around for a second hand one like i have definitely worth saving that little bit of extra money and yeah I really hope you guys like this video if you have any more questions about the bag feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer your requests and if you are interested in purchasing the scene uh, can't speak English if you are interested in purchasing the bag um, I'll leave some links down below and I'll try link anything else that was in my handbag if you're interested in purchasing it all in the description box down below and yeah I hope you guys liked this give it a thumbs up if you did remember to scrub sub <laughs> I'm so tired <laughs> remember to subscribe to our channel if you are new and I will see you in the next one bye